Imagine yourself in this scene. You're about to depart your local airport for your annual holiday. Sunnier, warmer climes where your busy brain can start to relax and just start to revitalise and refresh itself for a couple of weeks. The cabin crew ask for your attention so you can observe the safety announcement in case of an emergency. But because you've flown many times before and survived without incident, you don't pay attention. You just carry on doing what you're doing, whether it be playing with your mobile phone, checking some emails, reading a magazine or today's national newspaper. You're about to depart when the captain announces that his first officer for today is Fred. It's Fred's first time in the cockpit as first officer and because he's been a loyal employee of the airline for 20 years he had the opportunity to be promoted to what is a management position. You're very pleased for Fred but it's not really significant because you're doing what you're doing and just allow Fred to do what he's doing. But the captain then announces, well, Fred never intended to be a pilot, but he's been very successful at selling duty-free perfume, alcohol and cigarettes for the past 20 years. So we thought he deserved the opportunity to become a manager. He's not been trained. He was good at something else. He really excelled at duty-free, at cabin crew work. So we've given him the opportunity to join me up front today and Fred will be flying us to our final destination. What's your first thought? Do you want to stay on the plane or do you want to get off? Do you have every faith in Fred and the captain? Or as your faith and confidence started to sap away, albeit rather quickly? This is just a metaphor that many managers, new and existing managers, find themselves in. They were promoted to a management position where they're leading people responsible for people achieving goals for achieving or exceeding targets, improving efficiency, improving productivity, reducing costly errors because they were brilliant in a non-related role. And this is where many managers who want to do a great job, who want to succeed and indeed want to boost their own career prospects and personal credibility start to fall over somewhat because they're expected to hit the ground running, that old cliche. But if anything, they hit the ground flat on their face because they have to operate in a different environment to that of which they are used to, that of which they are more comfortable with. And also they may need to now manage, motivate, engage and indeed reprimand people that they've worked alongside for many months or many years. So there are several challenges for new managers to overcome, first of all. The first one being, how do I go from working for myself, through myself, achieving results by myself, to doing it through others? Secondly, how do I boost my credibility with people that I may have known for a period of months or years where there's an existing relationship which is friendly, how can I be friendly and professional but with a clear purpose in mind, which is to achieve or exceed the targets, goals and objectives that your organisation is paying, trusting and expecting him or her to achieve? And thirdly, how do I get time to plan the few things that really matter that can add lots of value to the organisation rather than getting caught up in lots of little things that could be delegated or indeed shouldn't take place at all? So if you're a new manager or existing manager, please consider how you can start to develop yourself, take more responsibility and ownership for developing yourself into a well-rounded, technically competent manager, but one that's also credible because you demonstrate deeply human skills, as in empathy, as in genuine assertiveness rather than passiveness or aggressiveness, in terms of getting people to actually want to work for you and actually want to do a great job with you and for you, rather than thinking they have to do it because they're getting paid to do it. So please, if you're an organisation that promotes managers, please consider looking a little bit differently at how you identify, select and develop them. And if you're a new manager, please don't panic. There are developments out there which can help you become a well-rounded manager.